Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a package. So let's get on to that. Um, so first off, uh, I'm just working on the Mass Experimental repository. So let's just quickly go and add that into the virtual machine. So we're going to go manage actual um, repo install. And then we're going to go files develop experimental. Now, if you've been following my other tutorials, you'll notice this is a little bit different in that when I've told you to install applications, I've told you via uh, a one-liner which goes and gets things directly from Git and it's all transparent, it just uh, it just does everything for you. Uh, transparent is not the right word, but anyway. Um, so here, I'm actually using a path on my, uh, well, on my virtual machine, uh, which is um, uh, talking to my host machine. Um, so you can actually do that. With repo install, you can either put in a git URL or you can put in um, an absolute file path. And by doing that, um, I recommend this. If you're going to be developing, I recommend that you install using an absolute file path, and that is to an area which is backed up. Um, the reason being, when I'm testing something I'm developing, um, sorry, bit of carrot, um, <laughs> I consider it part of the testing process to make sure that um, a, an install from scratch um, works cleanly, that it, yeah, it, that installing and uninstalling works cleanly. Therefore, if you uninstall and you uh, destroy all of your data, um, that's possibly not quite the outcome you want. So, uh, having it, uh, yeah, having that, that all external, um, and actually that's another good point. I said data, but I actually meant your repository, all of your, all of your files. Um, but uh, the data is also a good point. Uh, make sure you have that backed up. Uh, and that's part of the reason why I'm working in a virtual machine. So, we go and add this. Now, notice this error here. That is because I've got this shared as a read-only file system. Um, I was doing that to highlight um, if I was writing somewhere where I wasn't expecting to be writing, um, that I would get a nice error uh, showing me. In this particular case, it's just simply, hey, we're making sure we've got the latest version from Git. Cool, that's all done. Let's hop over to where that file's actually sitting, since that's read-only and all. Um, so here, we want to get into the packages available folder. Um, so we're within the inside the mass experimental um, repo now. And we've got a couple of things there. So you can see Dunnit um, has been uh, sitting in the experimental stage for a very long time. And that's actually, I've just moved that over to its own repository. So this is going to disappear very soon. Uh, so we're going to make a little package here. Um, and so we'll get into that and we're going to make a docs folder that folder is very important we need to put something in this and I'm just going to make a stub so that the demo is concise uh, basically this should contain uh, using it and this tells you the basic overview of how it all fits together. So it's like, okay, make sure that we've got this particular package enabled in the profile that you want to use it in. Uh, we then need to, okay, we need to get some data from a particular point. We then need to do something with that data and then we can send the output somewhere. It's that type of overview. Okay, uh, we then need a uh, worked example, and this is where I go and uh, if I need some example data, I'll create some example data and I'll list it all in here. This, this example should be fully self-contained. Someone should be able to copy and paste that and get the results that are described in there. So, yeah, include some sample data if you need it. Um, put all the macros that, uh, if they're not standard macros that you're using, if you're creating macros to demonstrate this, then they should be in here. Um, and then go and explain everything at the bottom. There we go, how's that for descriptive? Okay, so we now have our readme file, that's great. Uh, now, 
I'm going to do a proper demonstration of how to create a macro, but I'll just quickly create one in here and just so we've got the process from start to finish. So here we're just going to create a, mac a macro and it's got the extension dot macro. Okay, and as I, as I was saying, I'll explain what all of this means in the tutorial for creating a macro. Um, Okay, so that's fine. Now, if we go over here, this will not work. And it just doesn't know it. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. We have here package enable. So it hasn't worked because we haven't enabled the package. So let's go manage that and we're going to paste that in. And so now this tells us how to do it. So what we need is to go mass experimental and then previous time I recorded this I actually did dot star. I'm actually going to be more explicit so you can see exactly what's going on. So we want to take this and we're going to paste that in there and we're going to put that in the actual repository. Notice I've put this in quotes. Um, if you're doing dot star, it's good to quote it just to make sure that uh, Bash doesn't try to uh, resolve it. Now, if I'm going to be entirely correct, these are actually regular expressions. So I should actually put this here to say we want to match exactly this. Um, in practice, it doesn't really matter at the moment. I think probably if there comes a point when this gets popular and there's lots of different packages and uh, repos available, uh, potentially it's more important. So, hey, let's be correct now. Okay. That looks like nothing happened. Now, if we go back over to here, we'll notice that now it doesn't error. So that's good, or it doesn't display the help. So if we just go minus V and we can see here is the text. Here is the text come out that we had in here. So in summary, um, I've added the repository that I was going to work in. I've uh, created, I've created the docs folder which contains the readme file. I've created a macro just so to demonstrate that and then I've gone and enabled the whole package up here and that was with that command there and then you can see it works there. So uh, I'm not sure I actually explained this just a moment ago. That there is the profile that we want. So here um, I type an actual so therefore it's actual that I want to use there. You can find that out um, if we go here and we go repo list and you can see here that actual is what we type in and the name of uh, that we type in to enable, sorry, that name there is what we type in for uh, making it available in this profile. Um, let's just quickly do that again. Um, so this time I'm going to make it in this one here. So when I do this, it will be MEXP, which we actually type to get this um, to get this macro to come up. So if I go mass experimental, this will not work. Good. <laughs> Don't make a liar out of me. Uh, okay. If we go here though, however, and you see that that did work. Okay. I think that's quite enough for uh, this. Uh, any questions down in the comments below, please.